What's poppin' everybody? It's Friday. Um, I am doing two different videos this week. So one video is going to be just my coverage of Megacon, and the second video is going to be my hunt of Orlando with the one and only... What's up, everyone? OG Geek! So, and we're also going to be meeting up with Vince just from the, from the Geek from the 305 tomorrow, but that will be my Megacon coverage, and right now we are starting this hunt. We are outside of... Coliseum of Comics, so let's go inside and see what they got. All right, so what's cool, obviously, is right when you walk in the door, you got Red Hulk, you got Green Hulk, they got uh, some of these uh, DC figures over here, which are actually really cool looking. Some cool stuff. I like this Superman. Superman's cool. Yeah, they got some. They got some really cool stuff over here. And then obviously they got their Funko stuff and some statues over here. So let's check that out. So they got some Avatar and Aladdin. And they got some DC stuff over here, which is really cool. I got all these Batman statues, which are really sick. I like that one. That one's cool. I got some Harley Quinn. Some of the bombshells there at the bottom. Right, like I got that the yeah. Red Sun Wonder Woman, and then it's the Red Sun Superman. Green Lantern's lantern with the ring. <clears throat> I got this Wonder Woman statue, which is pretty sick. I got the other one, which is more based upon the movie with Gal Gadot. It's, it's cool. Joker one's pretty cool. They got the like a Christian Bale Batman bust. You got Aquaman, Mira, like kind of cuddling. And they got some busts over there. And they got some more over here. Got the Superman son with the crypto. Okay. And we got some Spider-Man stuff over here, which is really cool. Uh, I like that Daredevil. That Daredevil's pretty sick. We got Domino. We got Rocket and Rocket in the door. Hello, Rabbit. We got Gray Hulk, Green Hulk. Uh, Skeletor Hulk is really sick. That's cool. We got Black Panther on top of the Black Panther rock. That's actually really cool. Oof. That Psylocke is a little rough. All right, Mr. Palmer. That old man Logan's cool. Everything's there? Yep. All right. That's what we like to hear. <laughs> <laughs> we got that uh, classic yeah, Iron Man from the Avengers uh, Assemble line. Oh, number three? Yeah. Uh, I got some hot toys over here. Now that one's pretty cool. I got uh, She-Ra, Terminator, I got some Dragon Ball stuff, that Broly's pretty sick, I like that. You finding anything, man? Too much. Yeah. And I got the Game of Thrones stuff over here, but we don't care about Game of Thrones. Hey, listen, I only have to watch it for, for the channel, okay? Thank God there's one more episode left and I don't have to be subjected to it anymore. You find anything for the pops? Nah, still looking. There's that uh, Diamond Select uh, Premium uh, Psylocke, which is pretty cool. We gave, we gave that away. I think that was part of our 5,000 subscriber giveaway. We got the Deadpool on the Chimichanga truck, which is pretty cool. Got some Fortnite stuff over here. I got the uh, Gold Chrome Marvel. I got the uh, some of the Endgame pops over here. I got Spider-Man Homecoming. They got the Spider-Man 
a spider pumpkin, which is really cool. I like that. I like the detail on that. That was pretty cool. Get the car. <clears throat> and they got all their Star Wars stuff over here. It's cool. Palpatine on his chair. That's cool. Yoda fighting Dooku. Do you have a stamp card from the last transaction? Got some Hot Toys stuff over here. Let's see what else. Uh, Venom Bust is sick. It's pretty cool. That Sentinel was sick. We got Mystique. George did a review on this statue that was actually pretty funny. They got more of the Marvel stuff here. Some Endgame and some Infinity War stuff. Some Doctor Strange. Some miscellaneous stuff all mixed in. It's cool. Got the uh, X-Men stuff and Deadpool and Ant-Man. Captain America vs. Red Skull. We got some Dorbs. We got the Disney stuff over here. Dumbo and Toy Story. And they got some video game stuff over here, some ad icons, Big Bang Theory. You got the Simpsons. And then, uh, actually, yep, there's the common Jordan. Mine finally shipped. I got that from uh, Big Bad Toy Store, so got notification that finally shipped. They got some of the um, free comic book day Constantine's left. And some of the DC stuff. I got those 89 Batmans, which are awesome. I got that already, though. And, uh, yeah, I think that's about it for Pops. Um, we got Wonder Woman. Oh, precious. And they got some Marvel Selects over here. They don't have any Marvel Legends, but they do have a bunch of Marvel Selects, which are kind of cool. They got the uh, yellow suit and then the brown suit Wolverine. And you got the Iron Spider and the Grey Hulk and the Red Hulk and that Ghost Rider again. That Ghost Rider keeps tempting me. Yeah, yeah, they got some cool, cool stuff. So, all right, I'm gonna look around some more. Um, this is the Coliseum Comics. That's on. Um, I forgot where this is. Um, there's two of them in the area. This is the first one. I'm sure we'll end up at the second one at some point. But yeah, definitely. I love coming here because they got a bunch of stuff that I hardly ever see. So, all right, let me look around. Um, obviously, if I get anything, I'll let you guys know. All right, so our journey has taken us here to a super target. And we're going to go inside and see if they have anything. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't count on it. Because Orlando is a little bit of a tourist area and it is high traffic and we don't know how many of these people that come in that are actually hunters or even toy collectors or just any collector in general. So we're going to go inside and uh, see what they got. Look at this fucking sad excuse for a pop wall. Look at this. Look at this shit. This is it. This is it. There's nothing here. So even in Orlando... No target is safe. I don't even know if I want to film in here now. <laughs> this never happened. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, I just want to completely forget about it like it never even existed. Yeah, look at this. Uh, unbelievable. Yeah, this is, this is a joke. All right. Let's go check out the uh, the Marvel Legends area. Maybe they got something over there that could cheer me up. Right, so we're looking through. It's all Ant-Man and Captain Marvel. But it's cool. They got the uh, Iron Man gauntlet that Hulk used. It's pretty cool. So, uh, yeah, let's keep trying to make our way over to the Marvel Legends section and Oh, there he is. He's dropping Marvel Legends. That's what I do. Every time I touch a Marvel Legend, I'm going to drop it. You did say that in one of your videos, for sure. Do it every time. You never 
I'm doing it on purpose, I promise. <laughs> All right, so clearly I don't even have to look through this because if OG hasn't found anything, that means there's shit. So let's, uh, some guy told us there was an end cap though. Yeah, there's an end cap. Wow. Look at all these freaking Bulbasaurs. That is an abundance of Bulbasaurs. If everybody's looking for Bulbasaur, come to Orlando. <laughs> they got plenty of them. All right, so clearly we're done here in Target. I am not catching Bulbasaur. And uh, yeah, we'll figure out where we're gonna go next. All right, so we're here right now outside of a GameStop. Um, I did see that they were getting Molten Mans, so hopefully we can find the Glow in the Dark Molten Man, and maybe they've got the Superman Hush too. So uh, yeah, let's go inside and see what they got. So we are here at the Pop Wall right now. Looking, I could see a lot of, oh, that's cool. I got the, uh, Spongebob with the uh, with the rainbow. It's kind of cool. We got the men in black Hydro man They do have the regular Molten man, which is cool, but not the glow in the dark one um, But I don't know if I'm gonna grab that or not and then See what else we could find we got the Alex Trebek they got the hush? Yeah, they only, yeah, it looks like they only got one, but you can have it if you want. Hey, cousin, it. Five Nights of Freddy stuff. They got Jaws. Oh, that's cool. They got the uh, the uh, Happy Hogan holding the check, which is new, which is cool. Oh, they got Squidward down there too. Oh, the Ghostbusters one. Oh man. No, I didn't see it. I'm not trying to. Oh, uh, it's already ruined. No. Ah, that's cool. That's cool. The movie moments. Ghostbuster, that's cool. They have another one down there? Nah. All right, we're gonna have to probably hit up more game stops now. He's all he's all distraught because the corner's bent. Uh, corner bent. All right, we're gonna have to hit more game stops so we can get that for you. Um, so again, going through all this, they have the Superman hush right here. Uh, box is all jacked up on this one too. Damn, but that is sick. All right, yeah, we're gonna have to hit up another one. Damn, this is cool. I would want to buy this too. Uh, damn. He wants to. Superman hush. Oh, that's cool. They got the replica, replica props up there, stuff which is pretty neat. Um, right, let's uh, see. They got some Marvel Legends over here. Which one's that? Oh yeah, the Happy Hogan. Yeah. I'm dropping. I'm dropping Marvel Legends like you now. Isn't that the one you were looking for? The cat? I have the cat. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I need the cat for Infinity War. You see that? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, guys. So, we are done in this GameStop. Obviously, we're going to have to hit up more, games, more GameStops now. So, there's a Walmart across the street, and we're going to go to that Walmart right now. Alright. So, you all know that I mentioned in the last video about taking guesses about how many Walmarts it's going to take to find the Chrome Hulks from Endgame. So we are starting that right now. Here we are, folks. Walmart number one. OG has joined me for this momentous occasion. Uh, <laughs> Let's go inside. Hopefully it's one and done. Exactly. All right. If you want to see a really good joke, hold on one second. This is this Walmart's Funko Pop section. 
is the worst joke I've ever seen in my entire life. I don't even know if I want to continue on. He wants to go look at the Marvel Legends, so I guess we'll go over there and get another joke laughing at that. But, you know, what the hell? All right, so every time I come across this stuff where I feel like Walmart is going to restore my faith in them. Like last week when I went to that one Walmart and I found all those Dark Phoenixes. But then I come to this Walmart and then I'm like, why? Why do I even bother anymore? You guys can never restore my faith in anything. It's so sad. It's so sad to the point that we're even at the Marvel Legends section now. And I don't even want, you know what? Let me just show you just so you can get aggravated. This is their Marvel Legends section. This is all I got. What do you want to, you got anything to say about this nonsense? Uh, what can I say? Yeah, exactly. All right. Other than short than going to find an employee and punching them in their face and asking them why this is not stock, I'm just going to stop filming right now and then we're going to move on to the next place. All right. So we're here right now. We're at another GameStop. Hopefully they have what we're looking for. Let's go inside. All right. So we're here at the Funko Wall right now. We're looking through to see what they got. And let's see. Cousin It. I got Maggie in the back. I don't really see anything here. Um, they did. They did have some stuff behind the counter that I'm probably gonna snag, and so is OG. So, but they do have a Marvel Legends wall. So let's go check that out real fast. So I got the Magneto. I got Scarlet Spider, Lady Deadpool, Doc Ock, Electra, Six Arm Spider Man. Captain Marvel stuff, Black Panther, and oh, I got the Weapon X back there. Got more Weapon X back there. They got multiple man in the back, but yep, that's about it. Alright, let me go snag what's behind the counter, and we'll go from there. So we are done in GameStop. I got what I wanted. They had it behind the counter. Super excited. Can't wait to show you guys this. And then, uh, yeah, so now we are going to go over to Books A Million and go from there. All right, so we're literally walking down to uh, Books A Million, and I'm literally about three quarters of the way there, and I start feeling my pockets, and I'm like, holy shit, where's my camera? So lo and behold, we left it on a table outside of GameStop, and I think... I don't know, man. How fast was I running? <laughs> Let's put it this way. I was impressed. <laughs> so I made a beeline down the strip mall to go get my camera, which thankfully you have to believe in humanity sometimes and no one picked it up and it was still sitting there. So don't worry, folks. This pop hunt, the footage, the camera, everything's been saved. So you will still get what's popping at its finest. But now I'm out of breath, which means I'm clearly out of shape. I feel like my heart's beating a mile a minute. But whatever, <laughs> we're in the parking lot right now. We're going to Books A Million. All right, so there we are. Books A Million. Let's go inside and see what they got. All right, so we're here at the Funko Pop All Mail. Someone's clearly trying to steal shit. They got the Babe Ruth. They got the uh, Axel Foley. They got the Simpsons. They got Alex Trebek. But... We're going to have to start looking through these to see if there are chases present. And, uh, yeah, so let me look and let me see if we find anything. All right, so we looked through those. This is Alex Trebex. There was none. He looked at those tie webs. There was no chases. Do they have the other one, too, or they just have... They don't have the other one. I'm just dropping stuff everywhere. Oy.
Thank you. Somebody needed to stop that beef and that gosh shit was annoying. All right, I'm gonna cut in front of you. Oh, spoke too soon. I'm turning on and off my camera. Now they might have some of the amphibian, man. Oh, gotta check for that. Now I gotta dig. All right, dig, dig, dig like you've never dug before. And I got the all the uh, the Big Bang ones. I got the new Men in Black mixed with the old Men in Black. Let's see what else I got over here. Got Runaway stuff. Jeez, oh my god. I got more over here, man. Wow. Let's see if they got a Peggy Chase. I'm just throwing stuff out of here. No, no Peggy Chase. Looks like someone's already been through here. So we'll put those back. All right. So no Peggy Chase after looking through those. Let's see what else did I got? I got scrubs. Oh, did they get any atomic blonde chases in? Dig through. Nope. All right, yeah. Okay, so they got some more stuff over here. They got the Zoolander. But I already got all the Zoolander stuff, so I'm set with that. Um, got Game of Thrones stuff over here. See, they got Walking Dead. What do they got? They got horror stuff over here. Which I'm sure this has already been combed through and I'm not even going to bother. Uh, and they got the anime stuff over here. It's cool. You got the Grey Hulk. <clears throat> They got all the Marvel pops over here with Captain Marvel and Avengers Endgame stuff. You got Stranger Things. Uh, there's a lot to look through in here. This one's got like a, this one's got like a ton, ton, ton of stuff. So, all right. Let me continue to look through. And if I find anything, I'll let you guys know. All right, so it wouldn't be a trip if I didn't come to Mike's Comics in Orlando. So we're here right now. Let's go inside and check it out. All right, so we are at their pop section right now with some stuff. So they got some chases, some other stuff, nothing that looks really interesting. They got some of the completed builder figures, which is kind of cool. They got that uh, Venom, and they got the Onslaught, I think that is. That looks so cute. Okay. That's cool. We got some statues, some busts in here, pretty neat. Got some cool Batman stuff and some DC stuff up here, which is really neat. Green Lantern is really cool. Iron Man. Oh, it's cool. I got the uh, a Joker, which is really sick. It's cool. I got some busts in here and stuff. Some other stuff. Uh, that cap is really cool. I like that. I got these other caps right here, which are pretty cool. That's cool. Batman telephone. That's cool. I got the tumbler before it was painted. 
Uh, they got the Christopher Reeve Superman up there, which is pretty neat. Uh, hey, check that out. Here's your Gladiator Hulk. There's, there's the Gladiator Hulk. OG, OG Geek wants like really bad. Oh man, are you kidding me? Look at this cap, dude. Ah, oh, that thing is so cool. I can't bring myself to spend two hundred and thirty dollars on that though. That's cool, dude. I really, really like hot toys, but these these prices are like ridic. Hey, shut your mouth. <laughs> You don't know me. That's cool. A bunch of Star Wars collectibles up there. It's kind of cool. That's cool. Yoda stabbing one of the clones. It's pretty neat. Oh, it looks like they moved their whole uh, pop section over here. So it's that whole wall. Oh, they got the 1950 Batmobile. Nice. That's cool. Again, man, I love these boxes and what they're doing with those. Oh, and they got more pops right here in their case. That's <laughs> pretty cool. That's cool. They got some pretty cool stuff in there. And they got some statues in here. Ah, oh, that Green Goblin's pretty cool. And that Spider-Man in the back is pretty sick, and so is that Magneto. And then this epic, epic pop wall. So let's continue on looking and see what's going on through here. So... Let me just give you guys a quick look through because I really want to look through this and see if I find anything missing that I that I need. <clears throat> Which is really cool. If you guys see anything, just let me know. They got some out of box pops right here, which is kind of cool. And then they got some that are in the case that are out of the box, which is cool. So yeah, nothing, nothing special in there. But uh, all right, I'm gonna look through this. Obviously, if I see anything or I get anything, obviously we'll let you guys know. All right, so I'm here at the Marvel Legends wall, and man, they got some pretty cool stuff. They got that Nova, it's pretty cool. And they got the Silver Sable. They got the Black Widow on her bike. They got Deadpool. They got Lady Sif and Thor. They got the Red Skull. Yeah, what the... Uh, Gonna have to look through all this and see if we see anything that tickles my fancy. Oh man, the juggernaut's pretty sick. So, alright. Alright, this is why I hate coming to this place because there's so much to look at. So, let me look around and I will be back with you guys momentarily. This thing is so cool. I think that was um, Iron Man 3. It was um, Igor or Igor, he called it. That thing's really cool. And then he's got this Iron Man over here with the American flag, which is pretty cool. I like that. God, there's so much stuff to look at in this store. It's like, I can't even, it's like, and even all the old school toys that they got here is just ridiculous. This, however, is funny. I like this. It's Thunder Lips in the flesh, baby. Dude, yeah, I got some. I just got so much stuff and it's like I want to buy it all and I want to take it all home with me but I can't because if I show up with it I'm going to get murdered by my wife we don't want that because then I can't keep putting out these awesome videos for you guys if I get murdered by my wife 
because she ain't gonna do it if she kills me off so all right again i'm gonna continue to look around see what else i can find but uh yeah all right guys we've done it mike's we're here now at the florida mall let's go inside and see what they got all right so here is a place right now that's called the world of toys they have a huge sign in the window that says funko pops so let's go inside see what they got all right so they got some stuff over here We got a whole bunch of dorbs. This basically looks like they carry like all the extras that like nobody wanted. See anything? No, nah, not really. I mean, this is this is basically. I think this is a store that gets everybody's sloppy seconds that they can't sell. <laughs> so, oh, okay. got Ghostbuster dorbs for you. That's another. It's another venture if you want to get into that. Like yeah. So, all right. I really don't see much of anything here, and there's really no reason for me to even bother digging through this stuff because, again, like I said, this is probably some store's sloppy seconds. So, if memory serves me correct, the last time that I was here, um, I believe there is a um, a GameStop. There's a Think Geek in here, and I forgot what. Else. Oh, and a box lunch in here. So we're definitely going to go over there and check those places out. All right, so we're here outside of Box Lunch right now. Let's go inside and see what they got. All right, so we're here at the mall now. OG Geeks doing his thing. It's in those, no? OG Geek is crying because he wants to buy that, but I know where to put it. You know where to put it. <laughs> and a pineapple under the sea. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, they got the SpongeBob and pineapple that, and then... They got the 1950 Batman in this box, which I love these boxes. They're so cool. Then stuff just goes all the way up to the top. But I haven't seen any of the uh, MLB mascots yet. I'm still keeping out hope for that. They do have the uh, Axel Foley holding the bananas, which is funny. And they got a Happy Hogan with the check, which is kind of cool. And they got the rest of the Simpsons. But... All right, let me look through this wall and let me see if I see anything I want. All right, so we're outside of GameStop right now. I see in the window that they've got the Superman. So let's go inside and see what they got. All right, so we're here at what seems to be a pretty sad looking Funko wall. Um, but it's the common. They got the common, but I don't want the common. I want the glow in the dark one. So I'll have to ask them if they have it because I don't see it. Yeah. All right. I'll have to ask them if they have it. Um, yeah. Let me take a look. All right. So we found a hot topic along our journeys. Let's go inside. See what they got. All right. So we're somewhat looking at the wall right now. Um, from what I see, I don't really see much. About being at the mall? Yeah. And you guys all know me. I'm not a big fan of going through um, all the walls and Hot Topic. So I, as far as what's up front, I really don't see much. Um, yeah. So let me check to see if they got anything behind the counter. All right. So that's what they have behind the counter. Adam's Family, Persona 5, all the Simpsons. Molten Man. That's really about it. So, GameStop's just down the way, and so it's Think Geek, so let's go down there and check that out. Alright, here we are. We're outside of Think Geek right now. I'm oh, not Think Geek, GameStop. See, I'm losing my damn mind, see, because Think Geek is down there. Here's GameStop. Alright, let's go inside. Alright, so we are here at the wall right now. And they got some cool stuff. Again, they got the, uh, the Ghostbusters banquet room, which is really cool. They do have Superman up there, which is what I want to get. 
and they also have the molten man behind the counter which also I'm gonna snag but I don't even know if I want to bother looking through this stuff right now just because I found what I was looking for Yeah, this is, I don't even want to look through this. All right. I just want to get what I want to get and get out of here. And uh, yeah, so again, I'll show you guys what I got in a little bit. All right, we are, I made out at GameStop, which is fantastic. And now we are outside of Think Geek. And man, I can't wait to go in the store because I love this freaking store. So let's go. So of course, they got the Infinity Gauntlet right there, which is awesome. They got some statues in here, and then they got this movie memorabilia thing, which is sick. Because it's got Doctor Strange, it's got Spider-Man, Black Panther, and Iron Man's chest piece, which is ridiculous. This is cool, whatever this is. I think this is a refrigerator. Captain America refrigerator. It's awesome. <clears throat> and of course, they got their statues and stuff right here, which is really cool. stuff in there that daredevil every time so cool all right but let's look what we came here for as usual the pops they are buy two get one free so they got the superman they got the glow in the dark molten man wow i just kind of screwed myself i could have gotten a better deal if i came here shit Joke's on me, people. Never learn my lesson. Never learn to be patient. <laughs> Buy two, get one free. They've got the Superman down there. They've got the glow-in-the-dark Molten Man right there. I could have gotten one for free. And I could have used my points, too. <laughs> wah, wah. Go ahead. Laugh at my expense. Maniacal laugh. <laughs> Clearly, I am not patient at all. Thank you. You know, the wall is organized, so all the pups you see is exactly the same one behind. Alright. Oh, we don't hide the chases. <laughs> we, if we had any extra chases, which sometimes we do, we all put right. them at the top. So, basically this has a lot of the same stuff that GameStop uh, has, I but I definitely want to look at some of the other stuff they got, so I will be right back. I love their wall of t-shirts that they got. They got some really funny, funny, cool t-shirts. I like, obviously, I love the Cobra Kai t-shirt. They got the uh, Thunder Mifflin. They got the Rick and Morty Stamp Adventure one, which is pretty cool. This is how I feel right now. And that's how I'm going to be after tomorrow after the con. Unbelievable. And I like that one too, What the Duck. So, high as foe. <laughs> that's pretty cool. All right. All right, I'm done in here. Um, I think we're done in this mall, and I think we're gonna go back now and call it a night. I'm done. Oh, that's cool. So they got a bunch of Prime One, Prime One stuff, which is cool. They got the armored Batman. They got an old school sideshow Captain America. They got some hot toys. It's pretty cool. You got Darth Maul. They got. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I just saw that Prime One, Prime One stuff, man. It's crazy. Got the uh, Sideshow Premium Format Phoenix. It's cool. Got a bunch of Batman stuff. It's cool. And they got man, got a bunch of old school freaking video games. Look at that. That's cool. And they got some pop stuff back here. which is really cool but these look like they're all commons and stuff that we've seen everywhere else time and time again and then we're gonna go over here because I saw some other stuff <laughs> then we got Black Widow then we got Black Panther it's cool we got some cool stuff in here so all right, now we are officially done and I'm wiped and 
I want to go back to the hotel and eat and show you guys what we got. Guys, we're back at the hotel now. We're done with the hunt for today, which will be a separate video on its own. Um, I will show you guys when I get back home everything that I picked up. But in the meantime, this guy over here. What's up? Please go subscribe to his channel. I will leave the link below in the description. This man is such a big teddy bear and he's such a cool guy. And I'm honestly flattered that I have the pleasure of getting to know him through doing YouTube. So please go check him out. Follow him on Instagram. Just do whatever you got to do. Just go watch his stuff. He's too kind. He's too kind. Too kind. Thank you. Meantime, meantime, he almost just killed me on a scooter board. So, but that, that'll be in his video. So you'll have to watch that to see that. So, all right, guys. Again, I'll show you all the stuff that I picked up today when I get back home later. But then tomorrow, me and him, we're hitting up MegaCon. And that also will be a separate video in itself. So I will see you guys then. What's popping everybody on this fine Florida, beautiful Saturday afternoon. So... I am down in Fort Lauderdale right now. I got a tip last night from a buddy that the glow-in-the-dark Barnes & Noble's Hydro Man is here at this one specific uh, Barnes & Noble's. So I'm going to go inside right now, keep my fingers crossed because I still missed out on Mysterio, but I'm hoping that I can get Hydro Man. And uh, yeah, so let's go inside. And this looks like a two-story Barnes & Noble's. Let's go find Hydro Man. All right, so there's a little bit of a pop section right here, I guess on the first floor, because this is a two-story one. So let's see what they got. Uh, do have any water? No. Okay. So let's just... A bunch of five-star stuff. I like that Apple tea. And that Fortnite one is pretty cool too, but we don't do the Fortnite people. You failed your fans. That last episode was garbage. <laughs> and... Alright, well... Let me go upstairs and see if they got any pops upstairs. Actually, I didn't have to go upstairs because I found their pop section down upstairs. So, here we are. Um, looks like a lot of the regular stuff. Uh, it's cool, they got the, these, um, flocked, the ba we are bear bears. Uh, let's see. They've got some, the pushies. Let me go around over here. Wow, this Barnes & Noble has actually got a lot, and it's... Wow, it's actually pretty decent organized. Got the 1950 Batmobile, which I still need to get, but I'm holding off for right now. Because I'm still trying to recover from Megacon. Uh, yeah, more over here. Looks like it's all the Toy Story, Disney... They got more of the uh, Game of Thrones characters on the thrones. Oh, that's cool. We got uh, Khabib and uh, Conor McGregor. I haven't seen those yet. It's pretty cool. And then they got these. They got the uh, there's a two pack of Hulk and Thanos. Yeah, I got some, some pretty decent stuff, man. This is a, it's actually a really cool Barnes & Nobles. So, alright guys. 
I got a feeling I've got a ton of digging to do right now. So let me dig through. Keep your fingers crossed. Hopefully I find it. Again, I'm going off a tip that it's here. So let's see if we can find it. All right, so it was behind the counter, which is kind of Uns and Barnes and Nobles like, but we got it. Pop gods, pop gods, got it. So, all right, um, I promised the thing that I wasn't gonna do any hunting this weekend and take some time off, which is exactly what I'm gonna do, but shut your mouth. So, yeah, so this was it. This was my only stop for this weekend, and that's it. So I'll give you guys a better look at this when I get home. All right, what a crazy hunt that was in Orlando. Um, you know, I can't thank uh, OG enough for uh, taking the time to spend the day with me. Uh, such an awesome guy. Again, I'll leave the link below. Go ahead and uh, follow him. But let's get into it. Let me show you what I picked up. So first off, while I was waiting for OG, I didn't record this. Um, I was uh, stopped in a Walgreens and I found the infamous Iron Man. So this was a really cool figure. I'm glad I found it. Um, I like the fact that it's a mix of um, Doctor Doom and uh, Iron Man, which is really cool. I like this a lot. So that was really cool. So boom, snagged that at Walgreens. But I didn't show that on the camera because I was waiting. Again, I was waiting for OG to get to Orlando so we can meet up. Once he, we got to Orlando, we went to a bunch of GameStops. We went to Walmart. Um, didn't find anything at Walmart. Um, the one of the game stops we went to where we had that incident <laughs> with the, uh, with the lady, if you want to watch his video, go check that out and you'll understand what I'm talking about. Um, they had the Mysterio from Homecoming with the dome. So this freaking pop is so badass. I, it is so cool. It is so cool. The detail on this, the, the globe, everything. I mean, I love this freaking pop. This is probably one of the coolest pops, um, at least that I feel, of the year so far. Um, I do, however, need the glow-in-the-dark one. So anybody that's watching this, if you have one that's available for trade or sale, um, hit me up. Let me know. I'm in desperate need of it. Um, I was able to order them on Walmart's website, but Walmart decided to cancel my order. So boo you, Walmart. What am I going to do? So, we got this. Then we went to the Florida Mall. Um, I didn't get anything at um, Box Lunch or um, Hot Topic. They did have a GameStop. They had two GameStops in there and a ThinkGeek. At the second GameStop, they had the Superman Hush. The Jim Lee, which is freaking awesome. This Superman is so freaking cool. Um, yeah, it looks like the classic Superman, just in a different pose. And then yeah, and then he's on perched on the uh, on the building. It just it's awesome. I, I love these Jim Lee pops so much. These things are so freaking badass. So got this to go along with the rest of them. Um, I did see that they're going to get ready to release the Wonder Woman one that goes along with this line sometime soon. So, of course, obviously, I'll be on the lookout for that. Then, another one that I was worried that I wasn't going to be able to find, and they had one left. They had one left. Boom. Glow-in-the-dark Molten Man from Spider-Man Far From Home, which is really cool. So, I'm again, I'm glad they had the glow-in-the-dark one. Really like this. It's super cool. So it's got the, you know, got the molten dripping from his mouth and everything. I've seen pictures of this with the glow in the dark on it. It's really sick. So again, boom. And then this, that was from my trip to Orlando. Then this morning, I got a tip from a friend. I went all the way down to Fort Lauderdale, which is maybe about like 30, 30 40 minutes out of my way. Um, all the way east towards the beach. 
They have a Barnes and Nobles there. Let me tell you something. I've never been to that Barnes and Nobles. Dude, that Barnes and Nobles was stocked. It had some really, really, really good stuff. So, again, looking around, actually had them behind the counter. We found the Barnes & Noble's exclusive Glow-in-the-Dark Hydro Man, which is awesome. So, this was another one that I needed. So, again, if anybody, anybody has an extra Glow-in-the-Dark Walmart Mysterio, please message me. Um, I'll trade. I'll pay. You know, whatever. I need that in my life so I can complete this glow set. So, because that, that Mysterio pop is, like like I said, by far one of the best pops I've seen so far this year. Alright guys, and that is going to wrap up my video for this week. Please do not forget to click the link below to follow and subscribe. My man OG Geek. I had such a blast again hunting with him in Orlando and he's such an awesome guy. Please stop watching me and go watch him. I don't want to hear any more about it. And that's going to wrap it up, guys. So if you guys like what you saw, please be sure to give a thumbs up. If you're new, please be sure to subscribe. As always, be sure to hit that bell so you get notified every time another episode of What's Popping gets uploaded for your viewing pleasure. As always, you can check out all the excellent content we offer at mcecentral.com. There you can find the collecting news, marvelous statues, statue fanatic, that geek show, comic chat with Chad, and of course me. So until next time, guys, that's what's popping. Speaking of popping, I think I hear the thing cooking some popcorn. I want to go eat. I'm hungry. All right, I'll see you guys on the next one.